What's up, guys? I know, this is a little weird to see. There's Brock right there. <laughs> There's Brock right there. Hold up. It's super duper hot. How, how hot is it? It's 93 outside right now, guys. I'm sweating my ass off. I'm wearing all my gear. I'm wearing the same shoes that crashed in, the same gloves, and same helmet. I know I haven't bought new ones. I'm sorry. It's Brock vlogging. Go check out his channel. I'll link it down below. Time to start. This is this is weird. This is like a welcome back, bro. I rebuilt this myself. Like new forks, new side pieces. Oh God, let's go. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, this feels so good. Alright, so basically my motorcycle is finished. It is rebuilt. It is fully done. Uh, I went on my gear. I'm geared up. I'm ready to go. This feels so good to actually be on my motorcycle and actually ride. Like it's Oh my, you don't understand how good it was, like, <laughs> it feels so good to be back. Welcome back. First ride on my FZ07 since my accident. So the only thing about the whole rebuild series, my handlebars are not straight. So I don't know if you can tell, I'm going, hold on, wait. I'm going straight right now. My handlebar looks curved, but it's actually straight. So it's a, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just leave it. I might fix it. I'm not sure yet. I'm still wearing my old helmet. My old gloves and everything else is old. <laughs> it's Brock falling down and just being stupid. Being back in my motorcycle, I just wanted to say thank y'all so, so much for the support in the Rebuild series. I know y'all want to see me on my motorcycle again, and so do I. Super excited about that. The only downside to this whole thing is my dad actually canceled my insurance on my motorcycle. So basically what we ended up doing was not going through with the insurance and letting them pay for the rebuild because I was gonna just have to rebuild it myself. So I ended up doing all the costs from the rebuild myself. Make a later video about that. For now, I have no insurance on the bike so I can't really leave the neighborhood. It's just gonna be basically neighborhood vlogs for now. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, the motorcycle is for sale though, so if you'd like to buy a Yamaha FZ07 and you live in Houston, Texas, message me, comment down below, do something, let me know. Um, it is for sale. This is probably a really unsafe area because it's construction and there's a lot of nails, so I'm actually going to turn around. Not going to go this way. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so this bike is for sale. If y'all would like to buy it from me, let me know. Um, personally, I do not want to sell it. I want to keep it, but this is my parents don't want me riding, so I have to like respect that. Am I going to continue riding? The number one question asks. Yes, for now. Oh, it feels so weird to be like on my motorcycle again. <laughs> this feels so good. And okay, so I want to continue riding. I really do. Uh, I but at the same time, I really don't because of my accident. A lot of people are asking, are you afraid of riding your motorcycle again? No, I'm not afraid. My mama ain't raised no b I'm actually not afraid to ride my motorcycle. Um, yes, even though I got into an accident at 90 miles an hour, I, I'm not scared. Like, it's a, it's a weird, I have a good connection with my bike and I'm still really comfortable with it. And um, obviously I'm not gonna get as comfortable as I was before my accident because it's getting too comfortable on a motorcycle is not good. Learn the hard way, but I am going to get comfortable again and I am going to continue riding until my motorcycle is sold. There's a lot of wind noise in my helmet because of the hole, so it's whatever though. Besides the whole uh, accident ordeal, um, my parents do not want me riding anymore and I fully respect that because that is their call. They don't want me to ride so like I'm not going to ride. Uh, they're okay with me turning my bike on and going up and down the street because I've done it before. At the same time, they don't want me going on any highways or anything, so that's not gonna happen. So if you wanna see like highway vlogs or like street vlogs, I'm sorry, it's gonna be motor vlogs in my neighborhood. So uh, I hope you all get used to that. <laughs> um, sorry, the scenery is gonna be boring as hell. I'll see what I can do. It's good to be riding again. Going on site motor vlogging, uh, 
most of my moto vlogs, if you're gonna notice, it's gonna be in the evening time because I can't still be in the heat because my shoulder, I can't sweat a lot still and I can't have a lot of clothes rubbing against it. Even though I'm still wearing a jacket and yes, I'm not supposed to. Um, look, look at this beautiful view. It's such a beautiful day. Like, oh my God. I'm so glad to be back and like, thank you God for everything that I'm still healthy and I'm alive. Like, most of y'all don't care. You're like, oh, he got into an accident. Cool, cool video. I liked it or I comment, you know, but you don't realize when you actually go through an accident like that, it's a life-changing experience. I had to stay home for three months, only sitting inside. I barely went outside. And if I did, it was for maybe like 20 minutes, if that. It's just, I live in Houston, Texas, and it's too hot to do anything. And like I said before, it is Houston, Texas. It is just way too hot to do anything. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the whole motorcycle motor vlogging. Will I still upload? Yes, I will still upload. I love the amazing feedback I got from y'all. Um, daily vlogs, uh, probably not. Um, I'll go as soon as possible. Weekly vlogs, probably more th than that. I don't know exactly how often I'm gonna do it. We'll see what I do because the whole holding the camera and vlogging, not a big fan of that. I think it's just weird. So I might start like incorporating a little bit of camera action in my motor vlogs. I don't know exactly yet, but we'll see. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank y'all so much for all the support y'all gave me. I hope the lighting is okay because it is the 7.30 at night. Um, this will be my first motor vlog back on my motorcycle since my accident. This is Brock being an idiot. I appreciate everything y'all have done for me and a quick rev bomb for y'all. Just because I really appreciate all the support y'all gave me, let me put my helmet down and show y'all that. Such a good sound. All right. Oh my God, my hair is completely messed up. All right. See, this is what it's like to be in Houston, Texas. It's hot. It sucks. It's sweaty. I just want to say thank y'all so much for all the support y'all gave me. There's Brock in the back right there. Later, Brock. Have fun. Hey, you can have it, bro. All right. Hey, with the keys? There you go. Hit the catch. Eh, good catch. All right, bro. I'll see you later, man. Have a good one. But anyways, there's Brock riding away with my motorcycle. Thank you so much for all the support y'all gave me. I really appreciate it all. Um, if you like the video, give it a little thumbs up. And I'll upload more motor vlogs soon. Peace.